Hello, welcome to the Monday, July 5th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Now, I mentioned that I wasn't going to produce a podcast for Monday, but given the Kaseya incident that broke on Friday, I figured I'll push out this podcast to sort of give you a quick summary of what's going on here. First of all, Kaseya is a software that's typically used by managed service providers, MSPs, that manage networks of typically small and medium-sized companies. Part of Kaseya's solution is Kaseya VSA, which also includes a patch management component that these managed service providers can use to basically push out patches in a control manner to their client. The problem was that on Friday, apparently, the R-Evil ransomware was propagating via Kaseya VSA. So the problem here is a little bit sort of a two-layer supply chain attack. Kaseya was apparently compromised. Managed service providers that used Kaseya's product then picked up the ransomware and pushed it to their clients. As an affected victim. Uh, You are essentially a customer of a managed service provider that does use Kaseya VSA to manage your network. Kaseya does claim 40,000 customers. Now, we have heard numbers of around 200 or so companies that uh, say they are affected by this. But remember that a Kaseya customer is usually an MSP. And then these MSPs, of course, have multiple businesses whose network they are managing. So I suspect as people get back to work uh, on Tuesday, probably in the United States, given the 4th of July weekend, that many of them will find uh, an infection with the R-Evil ransomware. If you are a customer of an MSP that uses Kaseya, then definitely get in touch with the MSP. If you are a Kaseya customer, then get in touch uh, with... uh, Kaseya in they do have a quick help page up and according to that they do have a little uh, sort of test uh, toolkit or removal toolkit that you can use in order to check if uh, you are affected uh, by this or evil outbreak. Probably the quickest way to check is, uh, do you have a directory called kworking in your C drive? And then is there an agent.exe executable in that kworking directory? That's the actual dropper uh, that's uh, being then used to deploy the R-Evil uh, ransomware. Now, uh, aside of that, uh, you also may find a file called mpsvc.dll. That's the actual R-Evil uh, binary, and uh, that's found in the Windows directory, and uh, typically it would be sideloaded into Microsoft Defender. I expect that by now, antivirus software has caught up uh, with this, and uh, you will find that uh, antivirus software will detect uh, these uh, binaries. But for now, I would highly recommend that any Kaseya installation or so that uh, you have running, that you disable it until you hear more from Kaseya or from your MSP. And of course, uh, tightly coordinate uh, with your MSP on whatever actions uh, you're taking. The Dutch Institute for Vulnerability Disclosure, which is sort of a a private uh, group, uh, did also uh, publish a blog post stating that they have actually been in contact with Kaseya for a while now about vulnerabilities they discovered in the product. It is not clear if any of the vulnerabilities that were disclosed to Kaseya were used in order to spread this ransomware or if some totally different mechanism or vulnerability was used to actually breach Kaseya in order to plant this ransomware. So in short, not good. Uh, This could have massive impact as uh, the week evolves. And uh, like I said, best thing you can do is make sure if you or your MSP are running Kaseya and then disable any instances until you hear otherwise from Kaseya or your MSP. Well, 
That's it for today. So thanks again for listening. There will be plenty of links in the show notes to uh, articles that I used uh, to create uh, this podcast and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.